It's a breakup that may have big consequences for the Los Angeles Dodgers. No, not Manny Ramirez going to Chicago. It's the divorce of team co-owners Frank and Jamie McCourt. The 11-day bench trial in Los Angeles, which kicked off yesterday, has all the elements of a Hollywood split. Seven million dollar homes in Malibu, Vail, and Cape Cod. Accusations of affairs. Dinners with divorce attorneys at Spago Restaurant. But most important in this case, the dueling pair are the owner and former chief executive of the LA Dodgers franchise worth anywhere between 800 million and a billion dollars. A judge in Los Angeles will decide whether Jamie McCourt, the wife, keeps an equal stake in the Dodgers or whether Frank McCourt, the husband, walks away with it all. The case hinges on six copies of a post nuptial contract called the Marital Property Agreement. It's signed by both McCourts in 2004 when they bought the team. Now, three of the copies signed in Boston have an addendum, an exhibit A, giving sole ownership to Frank in exchange for the couple's real estate. But three different copies signed in California do not. Frank's attorney calls this a clerical error. But Jamie McCourt says the Boston version was fraudulently altered. Both McCourts have armies of lawyers. He had six on hand yesterday. She had five, including David Boyes, who just wrapped up a successful challenge to California's Prop 8. So let's get into this case with family law attorney Goldie Sean, part of the team that represented the owner of the San Diego Padres in his divorce. She joins me from Los Angeles. So, uh, Goldie, you're the perfect person to talk to about this. As I understand it, this really just comes down to the documents. Let's start with the, the case of Jamie McCourt, the wife. What are her best yes. arguments? What will she say? Well, Jamie's got some good arguments on her. She's got the issue of fraud and she's got the issue of undue influence and basically not even knowing that the document existed the way it did. So, you know, if she can actually pull that off and convince a judge that she truly didn't understand what she was signing, she's got a great case because that's really the only way you're going to get this agreement to not be valid because she's saying in the state this, of California we like valid agreements. So she's saying that this addendum we, about the Dodgers was added on without her knowing? Right. If she can if she can prove or if she can convince the judge that in fact she had no idea about this addendum, that she had never seen it and she had never read it and she didn't obviously understand it if she had never read it, then she's in good shape. Otherwise, she's going to have a little bit of a problem because in California, we like to uphold agreements. We like to uphold contracts, even if it's a contract that after the fact, people have buyer's remorse about. Yeah. Well, then let's talk about Frank's case. I, I bet he would argue, wait a minute, my ex-wife can't say she didn't know what was going on. She's a family law attorney. What else will he argue? And that's basically where we sit, and it's probably one of the worst issues for Jamie McCourt. Uh, she's an intelligent woman. This is a woman who is studied to be a lawyer. She was a family law lawyer for a short period of time. She was a uh, executive in the Dodgers. It's not as though this was the housewife that sat at home and didn't understand what was going on. She fully understands the business world and understands how it works. So it's going to be a long haul for her to be able to convince a very seasoned judge in Los Angeles to say, you know what, I didn't know what was going on and I didn't understand what I was signing. Yeah. Um, like I said, the only one issue really is if, in fact, she can prove that she had no knowledge of this addendum, she had no knowledge of Exhibit A, then, in fact, her case will be strengthened. Because if they throw Otherwise, out the agreement, it's an battle. Goldie, because if they throw out the agreement, she wins because, what, it's split in half? Well, if the agreement is null and void, then yeah. we go back to the fact that the Dodgers is a community, we are in a community property state, and then we'll have to figure out what portion of the Dodgers was community property. Because gotcha. then we have to go back to whether or not uh, Mr. McCord actually leveraged, as we said, the Dodgers when he purchased them. So we don't yeah. know if it was really his money that came into this that bought the Dodgers. Yeah. So we don't know whether or not it'll be an even split, but it would definitely be more on Jamie's side if, in fact, this, this agreement was void. All right. Well, Goldie Sean, family law attorney out in California. I'm sure you're going to be watching this one closely. It's kind of a oh, spectator absolutely. sport that the Dodgers probably didn't anticipate. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.